fit the standard puzzle. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, it's called order. Go call. Okay, first item is approval of minutes July 7th, which was last month. Yes, please. Second? Second. Second. Okay. Discussion? Good. Yes. Mike. Yes. Mike still? Yes. Okay. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Um, public commentary at this time. Anything? Okay. We'll close public commentary. Uh, reports, unless that's Jerry, but I doubt it. Jerry's getting ready for a wedding. No. Uh, Jerry is not here. He did not give me a report. Let's give it to you, Joe. No, okay. Sessor? Um, had one. Yeah, Carol gave me uh, a written, some written information here. She wanted to, to inform the board that, uh, that there's been a drop in the total assessed evaluation of the township. On uh, January 10th of this year, uh, the assessed evaluation was $159 million, uh, rounding it off. Um, it is now at $153,938,000, so it's dropped five, just over $5.1, or just about $5.1 million since January 1st. And she said this is due to the negative multiplier applied to the township. So that's the information she left us today. It's down how much, you say? <coughs> Uh, it's a, she said it's due to the negative multiplier applied to the township. Oh. So we lost $5,092,118 in assessed value from January 1st through today, August 6th, or yesterday. Okay. Uh, Caroline is not here to answer any questions, so keep them for the next month. Uh, clerk. I have no report. All right, uh, Planning Commission, Mike, anything? I you? know they met, but I wasn't able to be there. Oh, so I did not hear from Brian. Report from Brian. Okay. Uh, supervisor's report, um, I, I do not have a report at this time. There's some, uh, there's some items there uh, down here that, in, under new business that we'll discuss, but at this time I have no report. Trustees? Uh, food pantry. Um, seemed like last month was actually a little bit slower. Um, I don't know if that's because, you know, maybe, hopefully, maybe people are getting on their feet a little bit more. Who knows? But I think my total was 32 um, this last month. So it was a little bit lower than, than normal. What's normal? Um, 50. 50, wow. On the average now. Okay. So per month. You know, so, but uh, it was nice to see a little bit of a lull, hopefully. Like I said, maybe people are getting back on their feet a little bit more. Good. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, Ted, do you have anything? Uh, a couple things. Uh, we had a senior event we just talked about um, last night in Park Forest. We had not, not, not very many people, five people showed up, but it was, uh, it, was it was a good time for that. The Blues Brothers. The Blues. 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 Yeah, they got I've seen them before before. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, they had a real... A replica of the uh, of the car and mm -hmm. it was almost identical. So yeah. they, they, they were where yeah, Park Forest. Park yeah. Forest. It's, it's sponsored by Park Forest through their parks department. They did a really nice job with that. A free event, correct? Right. That's a free event. Yes, free event. Yeah. And our, our next scheduled event is the Quill Tour coming up in September. Uh, I think it's seventeen. And there was a Sox game last Oh, yeah, we had, a, and we had the Sox game. We well attended 37 people. Uh, great time, beautiful night. Sox lost, though. Did they? Yeah. What game were you at? 
We saw. It was a sort of, I guess I'm thinking of the last two games that they played. We saw Salem pitch in uh, normal runs. But yeah, anyway. And then regarding dog park, I did a little more research on that. Um, find out that Monster charges their residents forty dollars a year per no. dog. Yeah. Well, no, that's for one dog. They, they, they multiple. If you have two dogs, you get a little bit more, yeah. up to three. And um, Dyer charged sixty dollars for residence uh, per dog, twenty dollars for the second dog. Will County charges uh, thirty-five for a half a year. As you say, uh, of we don't have anything in our area, but Will County twenty twenty-five dollars for a half year, fifty dollars per year, I guess, per dog. So anyway, it's interesting to kind of see how the, you can tell them what's the problem we're having by the rules they have. So like, for instance, it's going to be in rabies, so, right. you know, rabies shots, and, and uh, the, uh, I'm putting together a budget based on some assumptions of uh, how many residents might be willing to pay, the, you know, somewhere in a $40, $50 range equals a certain amount of in money. Order to, in order to come up with a a budget. a budget, or how much is actually going to cost them to build, or you would it be based on your budget? Well, my, yeah, it depends on revenue, but depending on what you cost and how elaborate we want to get with it. Uh, okay. So I like to have that done by next month, and um, then we then we can back into either a uh, borrow money, perhaps this idea to borrow money to to have the, the revenues funded, or maybe just self funded. With, uh, Fees. So, but uh, I think we get a pretty good feel. Well, of most of those other parks are self-funded or probably a grant, right? Um, well, like, you know, that one in Munster is pretty elaborate. Yeah. But well, there's one in Lowell that's kind of bare bones. I haven't been there yet. I haven't looked at And those are open all year, right? right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got some information for you from the county on this, though. The uh, county has 2,348 dog permits right now. The county revenue is off of that is $104,000 a year. Uh, you're going to get a dog park in uh, Glendale Grove, hopefully in the fall here in October. Like, like the bike trail? Same, same thing with the... No, this is... Uh, is it really going to happen? Yeah, this is a... In, in Glendale Grove. That's what I mean. Like the bike trail in Glendale Grove, we, mm -hmm. the county promises for... Well, it's up to property owners. They have rights if they want to sell they yeah. don't sell. But anyway, that's... It's yeah. 2,348 dog permits, uh, permit holders, Currently, with one hundred four thousand dollars in revenue, so and they're pretty elaborate. Their parks when they do them, so yeah, the uh, it seems to be a, a, a convenience issue, you know, to, to get fluffy out, to get exercise, um, and we looked at another location too, actually, and, uh, next to uh, uh, Lions Park. The Lions, yeah. yeah. But <coughs> I, I don't know. I think this one's a little better, better suited. Yeah. We could control it. But if we were ever selling permits, it would be a place to do it. So, anyway, I, I uh, need to get together with Scott again. He's working on uh, his side of it. So, uh, put together a budget. Uh, is the village going to uh, contribute? No. What? Anything other than the land? Right? Which no, 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 land and, and maintenance, which is huge. Uh, they're not going to contribute. Maintenance, what? They are not going to conti contribute maintenance, or are they? You think they're, they're considering it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's huge. That's a huge part. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so. I think it's a very doable thing. Okay. That's all I got. Uh, uh, Mr. Boykin is not here, and, um, you know, it's the same story with the all the recycling, so I'm not even going to get into that. Um, transportation report, we had uh, 644 riders. Yeah, 644 riders last month. And that is up from, I want to say it's about, it's almost 100 from last month, if I remember. GA, GA. Uh, there were a few applications last month. Um, we have uh, one of those applications was approved for assistance for uh, um, emergency assistance. The um, uh, 
currently one came in um, this week, and she's uh, uh, working on that uh, application. Uh, Brooke is working on that application. And then there was another one that was the application that was picked up uh, last week that has not been returned yet. So that's that one is pending. I think you all you all have a no. um, the case that was an emergency assistance. Uh, there were two payouts, one for $328.63, and um, then another disbursement of $226.37 for a total of $555, which is the maximum that this person could receive based on their um, situation. And that, was, that concluded the general assistance report. <coughs> Okay, so old business. I think none. It says that it's blank on here, so we'll, we'll uh, go to new business. Consideration and approval of planning commission. Nothing? Nothing. I know that uh, Brian called me uh, last week and was attending the, uh, the I-394. There was another meeting at... Um, South Village. Yes, South Village. It was in the afternoon sometime. I told him I couldn't go, but he did go. I was kind of hoping I'd get a report from him, but... Um, I just hope he's going to be here tonight. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe he showed up Monday. I don't know. No, because um, he tried to contact me. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I well, I'll, we'll try to get it out of him. See what. Hopefully, he went. He said he was going to go. Um, next item would be approval of revised minutes dated March thirty first, two thousand fourteen. I think you have a copy of. What's revised is in red, which is on the back of the first, well, it's, yeah, the back of the sheet. Uh, want me to read this paragraph? Or? Yeah, you can. Okay. This is under the supervisor's report, um, the paragraph that has been revised. The township is in need of another computer because what has been um, stricken was the RTA reclaimed a unit. It's, it's not true, so that was stricken. Um, uh, Township is in need of another c computer because a unit provided by the RTA was moved from the supervisor's office to the transportation office. This change was required after the RTA performed an audit on their provided equipment. And what's the next line is striking is stricken uh, auditing the equipment originally given to the township. So that was not that. I don't even know why that was stricken. Out. Well, that? because I wanted that subject to the wall. Oh, okay. if you read, if you read it without, if you read out, read it with what's underlying verses, you can see the. Difference. All right. So but um, I wanted to, I wanted to have, highlight the changes. Right. Okay. So I'll just read the whole thing without, without, or with these, the parts that are stricken. And is the township is in need of another computer because a unit provided by the RTA was moved from the supervisor's office to the transportation office. This change was required after the RTA performed an audit on their provided equipment. Basically, that's it. So, so uh, this was something that Pace was was inquiring about. Um, I think like everybody was it over. It, yes. So, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll forward this over to um, Pace or RTA. Okay. So, I make a motion we approve the revised minutes. Oh yes, I'm sorry. They, yeah, this is for approval, and I need a second in that. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Ten. Yes, like that. Yes, I Yes. Uh, next item would be consideration to open the closed executive session minutes dated January 7, 2013. I'll make a motion we keep it closed. I'll second. <clears throat> Any discussion? Next item, consideration to open the closed executive session minutes dated July 1st, 2013. Make a motion we keep it closed also. Okay, second? Second. Any discussion? No? Paul? Yes. Ed? Yes. Mike Mack? Yes. Mike Spinola? Yes. 
actually this discussion. Okay. Okay. Um, item five is consideration and approval of CASA Will County donation request. Joe, I'm going to let you. Uh, um, I received an email from Stephanie Stefanski, and I gave you guys a copy of it. Um, she's an advocate for CASA of Will County. Um, they recruit everyday people who become volunteers for our numerous cases that have come into our court system due to children being abused and/or neglected. A CASA is a court-appointed special advocate. That's the acronym. It can provide some level of consistency for a child as well as represent the voice of the child and their wants and needs. The best interest of the child is our main goal. I was inquiring as to whether or not there was a possibility for one of our members to come to an upcoming meeting to, event to speak about CASA and try to recruit, uh, recruit new volunteers. We are a nonprofit organization, so we seek donations as well. If this is something you are interested in, please let me know. You may email me back at this, you know, this particular email address. I sent her an email and I told her that you know, the board in the past has donated money to CASA. She was more than welcome to come and speak, uh, and she, she did not respond. So um, I can pursue it and see if they want to come out. And uh, or they want to send a formal uh, yeah, they, donation they, request. Yeah, they, they, at least they need to do that. Okay. It'd be better. Well, it'd be better if they can come out. It's a it's a really great program out of Will County that uh, the last time they were here they had indicated that we had I think one or two maybe about you know one or two people or kids from Beecher were actually in it and yes, they did. at a cost of I don't know, a few hundred bucks or something, and we were just basically trying to cover the cost for those children at that yeah, time. It's, they, they represent the throwaway kids of society. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, they're, 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 they're in the place of the, uh, the guardian, those stand in place when they go to court before the judges, and the judges love, love them. I mean, and they do a big fundraiser also to the form, so. And these people are all volunteers. They're all volunteers. They're all volunteers. I'll be happy to. I'll also, I'll also put information on the website for her. If she gives me something, I'll, I'll put something on the website for her as well. So I'll, I'll get in touch with her, keep the ball rolling with this. So, so really, the, the, um, there was no donation request? No, no. Else. Well, you know, it just did say that we are a nonprofit organization, so we do seek donations as well. So that's why I indicated on the agenda, because if she came, Tonight, because she didn't indicate if she was or not. Okay. There could have been a potential for us to. I think we gave about what a thousand a year or something yeah, for the know. last ten, three years now. Four years. Yeah. So. so we'll see if I get something going on in September. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you want to talk about? This was in. That's that's um that one or two. Can we get to the end? Okay. Okay. This is if you want to read this. Yes. All right. So, uh, item six is acceptance of Trustee Kevin Boykin's resignation. I'll read this. Uh, um, I have taken a promotion with my employer, which requires me to relocate. So, unfortunately, I will have to resign from the Township Board of Trustees effective 7 18, 2014. It's a tough decision. That is for sure. I will get you the contact information for Vintage Tech. In our contact at Will County Office for the, uh, for the recycle for the recycling. Thanks again. So Kevin uh, moved out. He moved. Or he yeah, moved he's last in He's in Florida. Um, so we can't. No say longer that. a township resident. So we can't say no to his letter. So which means that we need um, that a, a, a new trustee needs to be appointed and it needs to uh, fill his position in his, remain, his remaining term, and it needs to be, um, since Kevin was a Republican, or is a Republican, then this new candidate or trustee needs also to be a Republican. Um, Paul and I had been talking to an um, uh, individual in particular, and up, up until this afternoon, um, uh, they respectively declined the uh, decision. And nothing against the township or the uh, the trustees present. It's just that it, at, at that time it just too much on the plate. So, which means that I would like to get from the trustees some. And of course, not, it does not have to be a public thing. Give me some names that I would like to talk to. I would like. I would like. Doesn't have to happen. But I would like to have a farmer. Um, a 
a real farmer uh, on the board. There's been a real farmer on the board for quite a long time, and I think that should continue. Um, I know we don't have anybody from the town on the board, or that lives in the town, I should say, the, the, the teacher. But I think uh, since the township is primarily rural, uh, unincorporated rural, then I think that the farmer would be um, a benefit beyond the township board. So think of, we have, have 90 days uh, as of July uh, 18th. So that would be August, September, October. We have to have somebody in place by October 18th. Oh, a willing candidate. <laughs> okay. I thought it was 90. Okay, so that would be well, August. 60. Is it 60? We have to accept the vote. Generally, it's 60. It's 60. We didn't accept the vote today. Well, I think it, it might be right. Uh, that's the question I can always do. I can bounce it. In other words, we have to do it next month. Well, it has to be done yes. within this month. Come on, next month. Okay, so if, uh, it would be if we can buy. Which is uh, next month's meeting is not going to be on Labor Day. Right. It'll be on the, what is that, the 7th? No, I think it's the. It's going to be on Thursday. Whatever that Thursday is. September 4th. September 4th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's when the next meeting will be. So um, we'll have to have somebody preparing to go by then. Okay. So please think about that. Um, we'll do. Okay, we still need to accept. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we so we need a, a motion to accept Kevin's uh, resignation. Make a motion to accept it. Okay. Second. I'll second. Okay. Discussion. Should we ask Kevin? <laughs> okay. No, no discussion. Uh, Paul. Yes. I <coughs> Yes. Kevin. Yes. Uh, okay, so payment of bills. Uh, I've oh, yes, I've oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, our email system at the township is uh, is very clunky. It comes. It was a uh, it's a free program that we got through Webfoot, and um, they were they're giving us some options to upgrade it. And um, we get a lot of spam. I mean, a lot of spam is, uh, is and we don't have a lot of storage space. So we have some options here. I gave you a letter uh, from Brad from Webfoot, and, uh, and he gave us some options. And one of the options is uh, go through Outlook. Uh, you can do an IMAP solution with just one gig of storage, um, which costs you 300 bucks a year for the first 10 mailboxes, or you can do a hosted exchange. But that's a lot more money. It's $150 per year. Um, so it's, there's some different options here. We kind of, Mike and I and Teresa kind of talked about it. We thought maybe Outlook. Most of us are really familiar with Outlook. It might make mm -hmm. more sense. And then all you have to do then is add um, uh, filtering, spam filtering, and it's like 50 bucks a year for spam filtering. That'll take away all the junk that we get. And I mean, I get tons of it online. online. So, you know, if it, uh, it's free to do the Outlook, it's $50 a year for the spam filter. Um, but if you guys want to look at this and read it, and we can talk about it, and Cap probably can't vote on it tonight, but. Um, is, is it because of our, uh, our sign, that signing name? I, I've been no, spelled it about a hundred times. It, it, I think it's because at the time we did the website, that was that was what was available. Okay. Um, Webfoot was owned by a, a single person at that time, and she did a fantastic job with the websites and stuff. So to keep costs down, she she used free services, uh, and they're still available. Yeah. But it's just like it's gotten to the point where it just slows everything down because of the. Amount of right. spam that we get, yeah. and maybe there is tons of it. Yeah, and, and we might even be, you know, if we might even be able to consider going to that org, you know, and see if maybe short. And we could change the website or change the, the email addresses to you know, Washington W H W C H or some Washington. We could do something different. Uh -huh. Maybe get a dot org address versus a dot com as well. So is there? I don't, I don't know. Is there a big difference? There's really not. It's just dot org is more typically more for. Uh, government agencies and things like that. You really don't need to do it that but, uh, I, I just thought if it's a .com, you get more spam. I don't because it's it more be. public. It could be. Um, I know I've seen a lot of stuff today. So, um, anyway, it's not a lot of money. I can, I can follow up if you're, if you, 
think that you're leaning toward one thing or another, I'll be happy to have Brad put together something with a little bit more detail, and I can forward to you before the next meeting. But again, you're only looking at about 50 bucks a mailbox. We probably have seven or eight mailboxes. Um, my, myself, Carol, uh, Jerry. And then we'll get everybody on the same email system, because right now, Carol uses Assessor, and Jerry has his own. So we're trying to get it all. And Jerry, found, Jerry said he would gladly go. If he got changed, he would, he would go to the unified type of um, address so that we'd all be working on the same. So it would be uh, Commissioner at Washington County, which he has, but he prefers not to use it because it's spam. Okay. So, okay. Something to think about. Would this $300 be broke up between three different entities then? Roadway tax assessor and us, or would we put the entire bill? Jerry would probably pay for it. Is that 50 bucks a year? Okay, well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know that would be up to my team. Okay. Jerry to discuss that, I suppose. Okay. Um, also, I think everybody has one. Is payroll burden? Ted? Or? Yeah, so, okay. so that I mean, uh, Daryl put this together. It's, I know that you'd like to see that, and then Daryl so, I, you know, it's got everybody. Front and back here, everybody on there. And then he also did the uh, report. Yes. So uh, Daryl and or Tom is um, was this last month still working with Daryl in, in the, the year end reports and all that kind of stuff. Tom is when I talked to him the other day, he is basically done. Um, with us, I should say, um, and, and Daryl is is basically 100. percent So uh, he's he's doing all the the everyday stuff that he needs to do. He's uh, going through uh, some of the audit stuff and some other uh, trying to simplify the the uh, QuickBook. Uh, you know how the, they call the accounts or what do they call those? Charter accounts. No, well, he's trying all the different companies. Companies, the QuickBook companies that we have, and try to get it into a little bit more user friendly the way that Daryl is really used to doing it uh, with the other townships. So I think Daryl's working on terrific. Okay. Is that it on new business? Oh, the flagpole base is in. Has anybody it's noticed it? It's crooked. No, it's not crooked. <laughs> and the old ones are out. Um, and uh, then when the, the flag will be uh, placed into the foundation shortly. Okay. All right, Bill. Can we read the leak first? The leak. Uh, <clears throat> it, we had a, uh, what was it, July 1st or 2nd when we had that really bad storm? Yeah, yeah the rope leak. Since then it hasn't leaked, but we really haven't had that much rain. Um, uh, we're up there. It's got, you know, it's a screw down roof. So the screw downs have a little rubber or neoprene or gasket. And it's 10, 12 years old. That gasket, those gaskets are starting to wear out. And that's where the leaks, I believe, oh, really? are coming from. Um, have yet to go up there and I. You know, I, I guess you could pull, you could unscrew it, put a new one in, but that makes that hole just, you know, bigger. Right. Um, it probably would be better to um, silicone the screw heads. I'm hoping that would do it. It just isolates that area where the valley is on on that side, yeah. on the south side. The north side here is fine for whatever. Hmm. But that's what I believe is happening. I, you know, it's hard to tell because you could, it could, the roof could. Find a leak here, but it really could be leaking way over here. It's it's hard to, to tell. Okay, any other new business? Okay, should we uh, pay some bills?
goes crazy. Every month that goes crazy. Well, but I'm looking at that. I'm looking at Verizon Wireless. I'm looking at Verizon Wireless. We're paying five hundred dollars a month for phones. For phones. I know. I know. We we are. Um, next month, Comcast is contract over. We're I, we're going to try not to use Comcast. He goes out constantly. Computers go out. The phones go out. It's it's. I had a Comcast guy come to my office and, and trying to sell me Comcast there, and I and I told him no. Um, even though it's faster, it certainly is faster. It's just it's just not working, and it feels way expensive. So who are we, who are we going to look? I don't. I, I don't. I. It, 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 it's a. We have to have internet, so it, it could be split. We can have our own phone system to a different provider, and then an internet account to a different provider. This is combined. You know, the, it's a whole phone system. Mm -hmm. Well, it just seems like so much money for. It is a lot of money. I agree. Two thousand whatever quantity you use, or whatever the minutes or units. Okay, well. And Jerry's paying out her sixty-six dollars. Jerry? Yeah. He, two two fifty fifty. Fifty. Right. He doesn't have Comcast over there. Yeah, but he's also paying. Saying we are officially done with, with um, no, not a hundred like you know, uh, shake his hand goodbye. No, yeah. I, he's he is he is uh, he's trying to straighten out the uh, the year end reports. It's you know how he is. He, he's got he's dotting the yeah. eyes, crossing the T's. He's very detailed. Yeah, so that's what he's doing, and um, he's he's certainly not coming in and. And doing the amount of work that he was doing even a month ago, um, mm -hmm. because that's a month ago he was had many meetings with Daryl. So far this month, which is you know pretty new, he, he really hasn't talked to Daryl at all. And I, I think that'll be probably it as far as Daryl is very comfortable with what what he has um, on his plate right now. I actually talked to Tom the other day too, and he said I'm about done, Joe. Yeah. Here, right, and he, I, I will not leave you in the lurch. Yeah, I, I still got to find out what that means, but I don't know what a lurch is. I done a great job. I don't know if we're going to get, be able to get him to do that again. It was a lot of work <laughs> for, for what we paid. It's a lot of work. What Ted's going to ask is what's on the, this total payroll burden doesn't equal the uh, payroll sheet that we ran off of uh, Quicken. And Teresa and I ran that off of Quicken. It should be right, but there might be a discrepancy based on when the payroll was done, mm -hmm. you know, for the month if it's going yeah. to three pay, three pay periods where we only have one or two in here. I'm not 100% sure, 
Daryl and I did discuss it, and um, I just printed this off yesterday. And actually, I think Daryl's going. Daryl was kind of wanting to change the how, the frequency of the instead of having. Uh, what did he explain to me? It's going to be on a, a certain day, but it, it's going to it's going to simplify it because there's there's uh, some that are three week or three paid. Or three, fr four, fri five Fridays, I think, right, or something like that. in one month. Yeah, and he's going to he's going to simplify that somehow. I don't know how he's going to do that. He said he was going to. But I will, I will pose that question to him. We're off by what? Uh, a couple hundred bucks. Well, it'd be nice to get it, but it, yeah, I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars right now. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll have to, it has to balance. Yeah, some But I'm not sure. Again, I don't know. If this is new. Yeah. What's the same format? Yeah. That's your area. All right. Well, I think uh, anybody else? I'll make a motion we approve the town account bills for the month for a total, including computation, of $23,737.50. I'll second. Is there a discussion? No. Second. Yes. Okay. Yes. Vice Miller? Yes. Paul? Yes. Hey, Warden Bridge. That's his weather thing. That's his weather thing. That's his weather thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a quarterly bill. That's why you see it. Yeah. Let me double check that. All right. Yeah. And he's only paying one hundred sixty-six dollars for AT&T. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got a, we got a bill for Prairie Disposal, but that's got that's our own service, not any recycling. Right. Do we ever get any feedback skipping around to they were going to increase the frequency or? Uh, uh, while they were going to, we're going to do something. Signs, and, you know. I, oh yeah. Again, I haven't talked to Kevin since he moved, so um, and he was he did mention to me last time I talked to him that he was going to give me all the contact information. For that, which he hasn't yet, but I, I'm sure he has the same. I imagine he has the same soul. He does. Yeah. He does. I spoke to him, but not okay. like that. I just wished him well. Okay. Somebody's cutting his grass. I don't know who, because nobody moved into his house yet. July to December. Yeah, it goes every six months. Motion we accept the uh, uh, bills for a bridge and road account. Uh, 
for a total of $48,982.32. Second? Oh, sorry. Is there a discussion on that then? Me too? No. no? Okay. Paul? Yes. Yes. Yeah. My back? Yes. My back? Yes. Any, uh, so next meeting is the 4th at 7 o'clock, which is a Thursday, not a Monday. Any, any announcements? Nothing? Uh, you got a movie this month? Um, I don't think so. I don't have one in mind. If we do, we do the Mark Cole thing. That's not the, uh, that's not the uh, going to Frankwood, right? No, that's different. different. And that's right by the right house, the Blair, Harley Blair, or Harley's company. You get a lot of publicity. And there's been something in the paper about it the other day. It's supposed to be quite, quite uh, well done. I have to do that. But that's coming up. You're still going to do that, though, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So our next event is, I think, September, mid-September mid on Wednesday, uh, 12th. That's the barn club. Yeah. Cool. All right, so uh, everybody sign. Okay, so motion to adjourn. I'll motion. Okay. Second. Second. All right, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.